Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you're here for another episode of Swatches with Friends. This time I'm swatching seven, seven samples from my friend Pamela that I received at the San Francisco Pencho 2023. And as with all of my ink samples, I swatch them so much later than I receive them because I just have received so many this past summer. I feel like when I read the names of these inks, which I'm going to tell you in just a second, that Pamela not only gave these inks to me, but also to Karina from Karina Loves to Plan, because I recognized some of the names. So I am swatching Birmingham Penco Armadillo, Birmingham Penco Projector Film, Organic Studio, Ha H. FDT Walden Pond. I'm not really sure what that stands for. The first letters Jin Hao Apple Green, Jin Hao Purple, Lamy Vibrant Pink, and uh, Vinta Blue Blood Dugong Bugar. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm trying. So I am going to add here Pamela. And she gave that back to me at the SF Pen Show 2023. And I still have so many samples in my box, but I decided that I'm, I'm actually, oops, sorry, I did touched my mic just now. I'm actually, actually quite okay with the fact of having so many ink samples seems like I'm not stressing about that anymore. Maybe this is exactly what is what it looks like inside. And it has been quite a while since I did this last. So I don't remember how I'm doing this. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I on my Discord server, which you're welcome to join if you would like to. Please just reach out to me on Instagram or leave a comment down below. Send me an email at simone at gmail.com and request an invite link and I'll send you one. Okay, it goes down purplishy, but then it dries to this light greenish gray. This is a very interesting ink. Um, on my Discord, we often have, we have one of the threads that is called question of the day. I think it started out to get us all talking about things to keep the conversation going, but now it's kind of like a thing. Um, and sometimes we have one every day, sometimes we don't, but one of my members just found that I think it's from the pen boutique. They have some ink questions and there is 12, 16, 18. I don't really know how many, but they will last us all the way through the rest of the month of February. And for day four, there, the question is, how do you find inks? I think that's basically the gist of the question. And I find most of the inks through watching currently inked videos and these swatching videos because I think they're so fun. I don't want to really touch this nib with my uh, greasy fingers, which I don't think they're greasy. They're really dry right now. And it seems like this ink dries differently on different papers. This one is Artist Loft mixed media paper and this is 52 GSM Tomoe River paper and I'm currently switching the nib holder from my Tachikawa nib holder that I just recently purchased from Amazon because it has this lovely cap um, to this Kaweco sketch up now I'm touching it that I received as a birthday present from my friend Amy. And I wanted to see how it feels to use this as a swatching thing. Oh, <laughs> there. Let's just remove that for now. So 
did something fall out? Yes, something fell. It definitely goes into the ink vial well, which is good. It, it Compared to this, it definitely feels a lot shorter. And that's why I want to try and see how it feels. So what am I doing? I'm writing Birmingham. Is it Birmingham? Birmingham or Birmingham? I'd love to know. Pen Co. And this is Armadillo. And it definitely feels different because usually when I write with this nib, the nib holder is really light. A. Oh, it's maybe it needs to go a bit back even further because it felt like it was this this looks more a b it seems to be quite wet c and then a b c yep so how have you been i just was outside with my puppy i had planned to film this maybe two hours ago, but then he woke up. So I decided uh, he needed to explore. It's my day off. So I could actually take him somewhere to a park, Birmingham, instead of just going outside and walking the streets. Okay, this is a little too big. Pen Co. Armadillo. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks a lot different on these two papers. It leans more green here than it does on here. Here you can see some pink hues. I do believe there is some greenish tints, but not as green as it is on here. It might not be on your on camera. I wonder what happens to this um, to this if I dip it in water, but we'll see. I'm going to try this this time around and see how I feel about it, how it makes things, how it makes things. Swatching also means I'm adding more more inks to my um, ink down box, which uh, can't seem to get down, which is. Yes, that is the purpose of this whole thing, but also, also not. <laughs> I know that, uh, especially because I just decided I was expecting something completely different. <laughs> oh, if you're a dog owner, why do some dogs wear coats and some don't? And how do you know that your dog needs a coat? Um, I'm curious because sometimes I see people walking. I have my my window, my studio window uh, faces the street, which is a really small street where lots of people are walking their dogs. And so I, sometimes the dogs are all um, bundled up and sometimes they're not. And I'm just wondering what makes you decide to put a something on your dog and what doesn't and are there dogs that actually need it or is this just fancying up your dog like all of it i'm curious about that so if you have answers please enlighten me um where was i before <sighs> i don't remember man that's that's cool. I love this. We are Birmingham BPC and this is projector film. For some reason I expected a really dark um, ink, maybe blue with green sheen. That's what I expected. I don't know why I expected that. 
I don't even know, do blue inks with green sheen even exist? Or is that just something that um, exists in my mind? I know there's a lot of blue inks with red sheen, but I can't think of one off the top of my head that would have green sheen. So again, this is a mauve pink, nah, purple, that has some green sheen on it. Oh yes, I said I was going to add to my box. I now I'm leaning on my hand and not letting the mic reach my my words reach the mic. This is perfect projector film. Um, if you're not aware, I have started something that I called Project Inkdown, and that name was borrowed from Miss Marilyn Darling, who does something completely different. So it's not the same thing at all. It's just the name that I basically borrowed uh, from them. Um, and what I decided to do was to pick half of the samples, uh, half of the inks that I, pens that I ink up every month from that box so that it would be reduced. But when I'm swatching inks, I'm also adding more. And so if I ink up 10 pens every month, that means it, I take out five. But if I swatch seven ink samples every, every week, I'm adding 28 each month. So that totally does not add up at all. So it's not going to reduce my inks. And for February, for instance, I decided to reduce the amount of pens that I have inked. I only have eight pens inked. So four of the samples, four of the inks, the samples, four of the inks that I picked were from that, um, box. Now this is Organic Studio, Walden Pond, Henry David Thoreau. No, this is what, but Henry David Thoreau, Walden Pond. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to stop the video and just quickly Google. This would be so funny if, so I just recently saw, as I said, I get my, my ink inspirations of how do I find inks? What do I want to use in a pen? Or what am I curious about to actually swatch and see how it looks in person through currently inked videos, ink swatch videos like this? Not every time I'm going to ask for a sample or write it even down. But maybe if I come across it again, then I would um, try and get a sample but I watched someone's currently inked video and there were two inks that I was really interested in. One of them was an organic studio ink. And I'm not sure if it's this one or the other. I think there's two that are super, um, super widely known, which both of them I have not ever used, swatched, had access to before. Let me just check quickly here. My friend Kelly sent it to me. Yes. So the one that she sent to me and the one that was I, I was super curious about is Aldous Huxley. Now I'm really... So is Walden Pond or is that even another one? The one that is so sh super sheeny, is that the one that everyone is so excited is not the right word because I know that it's a very problematic ink actually, organic studio. Henry, David. <laughs> The 
this is probably not spelled correctly. I should have just um, done it the same way as Pamela and done an abbreviation Walden Pond. And now I'm just going to do A, B, C and A, B, C. This is, there's so much red sheen. This is, it's supposed to be a teal ink, but it's not really visible. Um, to me, it also looks more emerald than, than teal, but here I would say it's teal. Not even, I'm not even sure. And so she sent me that sample of Aldous Huxley, which is different. Wow. Organic Studio. H D T Walden. Okay, what I can say for sure, when I use this in the SketchUp, this would probably be something that people who don't know or who have problems with how to hold, at what angle to hold their, their nib, I feel like this angle that automatically comes when you hold it right here is the perfect angle to write with this nib and get a good thing out of it if like you know it doesn't skip it's not finicky well it loses its filling but it's this is actually too broad for me so I usually hold it a little bit higher when I write in here because of the line width but yeah if you're if you have one of those or if you're with with a nib holder like this, you're having problems finding the right angle to hold your your pen at. I don't really know why that makes such a difference, but I feel like it makes a difference on how the the nib meets the page and at what angle. And this angle right here with the SketchUp works really well for me, at least. This is already dry. Yes, it is. I hope that makes sense so so I'm I'm basically just adding and adding and adding to my ink down box now and I the interesting thing about that whole endeavor to me is I now know the number that I have and it doesn't bother me anymore oh while we're at number um, I'm thinking of something and I would like to, if you are a YouTube content creator with, or if you're thinking about it and you don't know how to start, what to do, what should your first video be? I have the perfect first video for you. I am, this is bright, like bright green. It's not a neon green, but it's a bright green. Wow. Um, this is Jin Hao apple green. Um, so in March, it's the one year anniversary of the eight pen questions that stemmed from the collaboration video that Leanne from Leanne Likes and I, Simone, did in March of 2023. And on my Discord, we had been talking about maybe we should revisit them. And so I chatted to Leanne, Jin Hao, Apple Green. I don't know if you can see what I mean right here, but if I let me grab a card that I made with the other pen holder. See how much thinner my line width is? So I think what I do is I hold it further up with the other nib. And so now it looks it looks so much different. Um, a, B, C, A, B, C. So what I have come up with, with Leanne, we were thinking about doing another a zoom video but to be honest I 
with my puppy. I am basically at newborn exhaustion level right now. And just the thought of hopping onto a Zoom makes me so nervous that what if the dog isn't quiet? What if I'm too tired? What if I don't make sense that we decided to um, rethink it? And so rethink meaning, what am I thinking? What am I talking about? I would love, we would love to invite you to participate in a month-long YouTube hop. And the way that that is supposed to um, happen is by um, you, the content creator, the person who would like to try YouTube and doesn't really know if they want to or not. Um, there's no requirement of video quality you can participate because first of all, the eight pen questions um, started this whole community aspect. I feel so much more connected to you all because of that video that we did that that's the whole point of this. So what that means is I my challenge right now and I'm kind of nervous um, if it's going to really work out is to gather 31 YouTubers who want to participate in that. Um, you make a video. I have put the questions in the uh, sign up sheet so you can copy them from there and work your way through them. This is Jin Hao Purple, I think. Um, so so you know what you're what what we're talking about you could also use the hashtag and start googling and see how other people answered them there is no requirement to face to show your face you can because maybe you don't have the opportunity or the the ability to to film top down so that could be an option but what the idea is to find 31 people so that we have one video every day of March, uh, where one of us answers or revisits the eight pen questions. So if you have already answered them, then it would be really fun to, some of them are like, how did your fountain pen journey started? So that is not necessarily something that you would revisit because it's probably the same. Um, but there are some questions that for me, I know for sure that they started something in the way that I think about my fountain pen collection, in the way that I um, execute my hobby. Okay, hello. There's always a cat visit when I do these videos <laughs> somehow. Um, and I have been thinking about, okay, what are you, he's stealing a cardboard thingy, so he'll just, it's not clean all the way. Yeah, now it's clean. And it would be so much fun if we could fill the whole month of March with a video every day that talks about those questions. Um, I'm kind of hesitant. Maybe I should just reach out to all the big dudes as well. Um, Maybe I'm going to ask Mike from Ink Dependence. I want to um, invite Chris Saints again. Uh, maybe, what's her name? <laughs> Sorry, Lori from Time with Tata. Um, and see if they would also like to participate. Maybe they don't know. But uh, there is no, you don't, you don't have to have any kind of subscriber numbers for this um, because that's what I said before. There is, what this video showed me most, mostly is that we are, this is such a welcoming, um, this is so wet. I wonder how this looks in a in my um, medium platinum three seven seven six, and I actually really like that purple. I 
Yeah, and I also like the apple green. It reminds me, let me check. Um, what it reminds me of. Um, uh, Herbin Lierre Sauvage is what I'm thinking of. Oh, Diamine Mary, Mary and Bright. But that's not the one that I'm thinking of. I mean, yes, those Birmingham Panko inks, they're always kind of swamp gobbly. It, it's a little bit kind of like Birdwing Butterfly Green, but that's not what I'm looking for either there. Well, Lear Sauvage looks more natural to me. This looks very uh, artificial. And this, this uh, Jacques Urbain, Urbain, Jacques Urbain, Lier Sauvage looks more like I would actually find this green in nature, but this one I'm not so 100% sure. Even though they say it's apple green, I'm not 100% sure that I saw apples this green yet. So yes, I am worried that I'm not going to find 31 people. Probably I should have started this much earlier so that people would, so that it would be able to spread. That's why I need your help. Maybe you can help spread the word or sign up and fill the slots. That would be a, a cool thing as well. I, what I decided to do or what we decided to do is Leanne is already scheduled for March 1st. So you will see a video for her then. Uh, I have eight or nine people signed up yet, but I al also started the sign up. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice another ink vial because I have so many that it doesn't really matter here. Okay. Um, what I'm looking at here is, oh, you can see this. Let me check. Oh my gosh. Sorry. And there is some kind of granulation. Something is here. So hi, cat is back. No, it doesn't. There is no gunk in here. Okay. I think I'm safe to at least swatch it. I'm just going to use this and then I'm going to clean that. Um, so, oh my goodness, cat, this is, it's still wet. Ah, ugh, oh, dude. Um, completely brought me out of what I wanted to say. Yes. So um, what we've decided is that if we cannot fill 31 slots, we are not going to not do this or we're going to be despaired. This is a really big stretch goal. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Walk all over my paper. Um, and we might not get 31 people. We would love to have you. Um, but we'll just cinch it then. So we'll start on March 1st. And then if we have, what day, what day is next week when I'm going to publish this? It's already really close to the beginning of March, right? Mm. What I would suggest to everyone is that you film your video and then you just schedule it 22nd. Huh. So what I probably will go, will do is on the 26th, I will send out emails to everyone who has already signed up and I will slot you as close to the date that you requested for the week. But um, I can't really basically guarantee that if there is nobody signed up during the week three and you requested week four, that it's going to work. So this is definitely not the same lid. Okay, I need to be really careful with this. Okay, I'm making a mess. Let's just think about this later. Or I'm just gonna do this. Um, 
does that even make sense what I just said? So yes, I'm just going to move everyone so that we don't have gaps in between. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I hope that makes sense and I hope it still works for everyone. Um, I'm trying to make it, make it so is this a shimmer ink? Because can you see there is some sparkle on there? Where does that come from now? I'm super confused. It, actually, I don't really know why, but I really like these bright, vibrant pinks. What is wrong with me, Lani? Oh my goodness. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong right now. Yet another fantastic sw professional swatching with friends video. Um, you can't get any better videos than you can on my channel. Clearly, clearly. Um, yeah. So I am going to film mine as soon as I have time so that I can just squeeze it in anywhere. And I would love to have you participate. I'm really curious. I have thoughts, many thoughts on, on those questions. I remember, I think if you uh, watched my video, you remember how firm I was that I need to minimize my collection, that I don't, I want to have hard and fast rules. And I do have some rules right now for the way that I'm inking up pens and such. Those are more for um, having fun um, and also not just having fun, but also to take away the decision making process when I have 150 ink samples in, in that box. How am I going to choose? Even when they were all sorted by color, how am I going to choose, choose? And especially when I did that last year, I would skip over those that I was kind of, you know, uh, about. I would love to try them, but I'm not 100% certain I will like them. I am going to look for, I hope it's somewhere here. Diamond Sweet Dreams. This is... Is this cool? It looks cooler than this one to me. But what I was looking for actually was Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji. And it also, this one has gold sheen. This one has gold sheen. I think this is warmer. This leans more, a little bit more towards a, a purple magenta. Is magenta purple? And this one is more punchy. And I actually like that. What is wrong with me? So you can also see this right here. This is leaning more towards red. I really like this. I currently have Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji in a pen. And I am enjoying it immensely. I didn't think I would, but it's I love it. Yeah, so if you had known me or watched my video last year, then I was kind of my hobby, the fountain pen hobby was quite anxiety ridden. I think that's how I would describe this. Um, I made so many limitations of when and where and why I can and cannot buy and add and ink and numbers. And currently I am actually counting more. I still cannot keep track of the numbers. <laughs> They're always different. <laughs> but it's it feels like the moment that I started counting and keeping track of all the numbers, the moment this anxious feeling of, oh, it's too much, I'm never going to get through this, completely fell off. Um, I know exactly that I won't be able to get through all of these. Um, and that's okay. 
it's for me swatching an ink in this format here is doing that ink justice i don't have any obligation towards an ink it's just colored water yes if i purchased the sample then i spent money um, if it was gifted to me then i feel kind of obliged towards the gifter um, i am always very open to the people who gift inks to me that i am swatching them but i'm not promising to put them in any in any pens and i think for me at least when i share samples from bottles with people most of the time the reason why i want to share those is because my bottles are full and i don't i don't have any other way um, how to reduce my ink bottle volume maybe i would love to have more samples more uh, ink than just a regular sample for some reason because I just love this ink so much and I can see myself inking it into a pen over and over again but maybe not 80 milliliters over and over again and so for me the main reason why I share uh, inks and ink samples with friends is so that my ink bottle level goes down. Vinta this one I really like um i'm going to pull out one more card blue blood and this is dugong yeah so i know the numbers but i'm not really buga B i hope this is spelled correctly it could be as an s but i don't think so um this one more time and now that I know the numbers I'm I'm really not stressing about it as much anymore sometimes the only thing that I am currently stressing about is I'm hoping that uh, none of the samples go bad before I can use them that would be really sad um, but yeah so I'm really interested or excited to um, see all of your videos, even if it's only seven, that's fine. Vinta, Blue Blood. And I like that it's called Blue Blood because of the red sheen. and share my answers to the questions again i actually do have now now also blah english language is not my friend today i also we had a question that was called do you have a grail pen and i actually have one now i think it's so expensive well it's not never achievable but i don't think i would want to save up that much money uh, in order to purchase that pen. However, I uh, really, really love the artwork on it. When I saw it for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So if that, like if someone gifted me that money so that I could buy it or gifted me the pen, that would be my grail pen. But I'm not going to tell you because you will have to watch that video. All right, so I swatched seven inks today i was able to uh, <laughs> not talk about things and make awkward breaks all the time i didn't know what hdt meant and i don't know how to spell it now that i think i know what it is and I really like many of these inks. So, um, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away five samples every every time that I swatch this. But I'm not always giving away five of the ones that I swatched. I would oh I was going to show you the ink that I thought of. 
I hope it's already back sorted back in here. Yep, this is the one that I'm thinking of. I do see parallels. In fact, I believe this is almost the same base color. It doesn't sheen as much on here. This sheen's purple. Oh, well, it's this, it's very similar. It's a similar base color. And I really enjoyed Diamine Ruby Blues. And I'm really in interested to see how that looks in a pen. The Vinta Blue Blood looks in a pen. This was the first sheeny ink that I actually enjoyed. And we're at 30, 40 minutes. Ha ha! Such a fun thing. I'm going to keep vibrant pink. I want to keep um, purple. Um, so these three I would like to add to my ink down box. I am going to give away apple green. <sighs> I'm not sure about he Walden Pond. I'm going to pass along projector film and armadillo. And I'm going to add two more samples from samples that I had already taken out of my uh, ink down box before I put them in. Uh, because I no longer have an interest in putting them into my pens. Um, yeah, so if you are signed up for my rolling giveaway sign up sheet, it's a Google form. You put in your um, name, your email and your address. I'm deleting that at the end of 2024. But what that means, you enter once and you're entered for every single giveaway. Uh, that I'm going to do throughout this year. So if you already entered, then there's no more need to enter. Um, I'm using a ran random.org to pick a number. Then I'm emailing the person who wins. If they respond within 48 hours, I'm sending it out to them. If they don't, it rolls over to the next week. And then you, you if you respond, will just get more ink samples in your happy mail. Um, yeah, I'm going to give away these. I'm currently thinking that maybe I should put this over here as well. I don't know if I'm so open to, um, to these sheening inks. <sighs> I'll think about it a little more, but I will add two more and then send this to next contact the winner next Wednesday. Uh, so look out for an email from me next Wednesday. If you'd love this. Uh, thank you so much for spending time to me with me today. Ooh, English language is hard. And sign up to participate in the eight pen questions video hop in March, which is going to be soon. Um, if you sign up before February 26, I will send you an email and let you know what date you should schedule your video. All of this is in the description of the uh, Google form. So please make sure you read that. And then um, when your video goes up, I'm so excited to see it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye.